Right, hello everyone, um, welcome back if you've been here before, if not then welcome, if not then welcome, I'm going to do a really quick Q&A for you, I put up a little thingy on my focus on my Instagram a while ago, saying if anyone had any questions then I would do them in a video. Okay, so the first question that I'm going to answer is um, someone asked about my tanning routine because my skin always looked really like even in that. So um, confession, I haven't worn fake tan in hair on that in over a year because naughty little me uses the sun beds. And I know how bad they are, aren't they? I do. The reason behind why I use the sun beds, obviously I like coming in tan. Um, I hate fake tan so much, but I get really bad breakouts with my skin when I don't use them. Um, so it helps keep my skin kind of in check. Right, so the next question that I've got written down is, um, I've just forgotten it. Where do you work? So most people that live in Dundee will already probably know that I work in Asda, or I feel like they do because every single time I go to work, I see so, so many people that I know. And it's always so good because I go to work with no makeup on, like my hair's a mess. I honestly look like absolute shit every time I'm at work, so it's really, really ideal. But yeah, I work in Asda, but I also go to uni. I'm in second year and I'm doing forensic science at Aberté in Dundee. Okay, so another question that I got was, um, how do you think of outfits and do you have like any style inspiration people or like you know the kind of, what I kind of mean. So I'm going to go on Instagram and find the people that I get inspiration from. Um, one of them is Chloe Adair. She always wears like really cool like grungy kind of like greys and blacks and stuff and I really like the way, I like her Instagram as well, like it's really cool. Here it is. I don't know if you can see that, but Chloe Adair, one of them. And then um, Megano Welsh is another one of a lot of her stuff. I like um, Molly McFarlane, who I think is from Scotland as well. Her, her and Megano, Mega, Megano are both from Scotland, I think. And um, Chloe Freighter, I just really like their style. But um, usually when I'm making up like my kind of own outfits, I'll just, I'll have one thing that I know that I want to wear. And then I'll say, say it's like a top, then I'll pick from that. So I'll kind of find a top and then I'll maybe like look up some like, oh, what's, what have other people worn this kind of thing with? Or I'll just like open my wee drawer and see what kind of colors I'm thinking like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. And then, that's that's really it, like I just, I just kinda, I don't know. I don't actually buy like a lot of clothes and my best pal Nicole, every time she buys something she has to think of a proper outfit to buy it with. Whereas I just kinda buy things that I like and then make outfits out of it. So do you know what I mean? Like I would never really buy a whole outfit. I would buy like wee bits and then just kinda throw them together. But sometimes I think, when you overthink an outfit, it ends up not looking as good because you've overthought it. So my advice, don't think about it too much. Just kind of trial and error, start putting things on and be like, oh no, that really doesn't look good. And don't be scared to wear, don't be scared to wear things. Like I've got like bright blue trousers and I wear them with like leopard print furry coats and stuff like that. Like just, just wear what you want. Like. Although I'm saying like I like, I take hmm, style inspiration and stuff like that from other people, a lot of the time I just kind of wear what I feel comfortable in and wear what I want to wear because if you can love yourself, how the hell, no, no don't put that in Cormac. Um, because what's the point in dressing for other people and dressing so that other people think you're cool and that? If you want to wear something then you wear it for you. Anyway, next question was where did I get my lips done? And I think that I'm going to do like a whole video on this um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, show you the procedure 
and I give you some like information on like things you should know before you get them done, things like that. If you want to see that, let me know. But I got them done at Jane Skin Aesthetics um, in Dundee. So another one of the questions that I got, I think is probably the most popular one, like the most people asked it, was what made me start doing YouTube. Um, it's a bit of a weird one for me because I don't really know, like it's just like literally James Genevieve, love of my life, Charlie and Lauren, trans life and life, it's just like every, every day what I do is just watch YouTube so I was like it looks so fun why not try it and obviously I was put off by like oh my god what are people gonna say um like no one no one in Dundee really does YouTube um and it's obviously such a small place everyone knows everything about everyone so I was like people are gonna speak about me people are gonna do this people are gonna do that and I put it off for ages and ages and ages and then I eventually bought myself a camera and um loads of people were like my Instagram's on a personal blog, I think you call it, where you can see when people send like your stuff about. And so many people were sending it, like, oh my God, what does she, who does she think she is? And stuff like that. So I was just put off for ages. And then I thought, why not? I was like, why do I actually care about what these people think of me? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, these people think they know so much about your life and think that they should get to dictate what you do and what you don't do, but it's just so stupid, like... I don't know, like, I, I'm trying to think of an example, but I, I don't want to, like... I don't know, like, just why not? Like, I wanted to do it for so long and, like, YouTube is something that I really love, like, watching and, like, I invest a lot of time into YouTube, so why not just make a channel? Like, I enjoy watching it so much, like, why not try doing it and see if I enjoy that as well? And I, I am really enjoying it, so, like, that's why. I just wanted to, so I just did. Right, somebody else asked what my my favourite item of makeup is. I don't know if they mean, like, makeup products, like, as in, like, brand, or if they mean, like, like, what, what makeup do I do every day, or... What? So I'll, I'll kind of answer them all as a general question. So my favourite two... I wouldn't leave the house usually. Well, that's a lie. I leave the house all the time if I'm doing it. But my two favourite things I like to do are curl my eyelashes, which isn't really a makeup product, and do, like, brow gel. But I use Miss Honey. I don't know if you can see this. It looks a bit gubbed. But um, Instant Brow Thickener by Peaches and Pearls, which is a Dundee's own brand. And it's brow soap. So it's just like that. So I just use my trusty old Fix Plus with water in it. A couple of squishes. Like that with a spoolie and like... So somebody asked me for like a hair tutorial or like what I use on my hair and stuff like that. Which I actually found hilarious because I'm the most clueless person when it comes to hair. Like makeup, I'm okay. What was this? I'm kind of okay. I kind of know what I'm doing. Hair, honestly, like... The most I do to my hair is straighten it, ever. Actually, I curl... No, Nicole curled it. It doesn't count. But yeah, so I go to Guild Aesthetics. Um, the lovely Leslie does my hair. And she's the best. So if you're from Dundee or you're looking for a new hairdresser, go to Guild. Just wanted to point out I am definitely not a red lipstick kind of girl, but I can't be bothered taking it off now. So, next question. How many pets have you got? Or what's your... What's the coolest pets you've got? So people that know of me probably already know that I have quite a lot of pets. Coolest pets I've got it depends what you class as cool. Like we've got tarantulas but I hate them so I wouldn't class them as cool. Um Python, chinchillas, chipmunks, uh, micro squirrels, ducks Tortoises are not that cool. Rabbits, guinea pigs. I can't remember what I said. Geckos. Cats, dogs. Okay, so I should have known that I was going to hate that, so I just took it all off. I'm going to put it on. Shocker. Anyway, so someone asked me 
how I deal with mental health and to answer that honestly not very well <laughs> um, I've been going to the doctor for my mental health since I was in high school um, probably the start of high school I said I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on this I think but in terms of dealing with mental health I would probably say my I don't want to say like top tips but the things that I would recommend would be probably be observant of how the people that are close to you and how the people that are around you are with you in terms of how they make you feel if you've got someone that's really really close to you but you feel like you can't tell them about your mental health for whatever reason then consider why you're so close to them because you should be able to tell your best pal or, or whoever it is um, you should be able to tell them that is the most important thing I would say to, is to talk to someone if you're feeling like you're going through a hard time you maybe feel like you're, you're struggling on your own then tell someone about it doesn't matter who it is it could be a teacher I know one of the first people that I opened up to was my guidance teacher in school most people it would be like your mum or your dad but just be not be careful who you tell that that's a sad thing to, to say because speaking about it in general is the best way to to change it is the best way to make things better for yourself is to talk about it one other thing that I'll say is if you do focus on me focus on me if you do decide to go down the doctor's route you need to kind of say what you want to happen from it because if you don't say they'll just kind of be like oh yeah well come in come in again soon and we'll see how you're feeling like you need to really say to them like no look I'm really struggling I don't know who to talk to can you at least point me in the right direction so that I can I can know where to go from here like I go to a psychiatrist um, probably twice a month but it's taken me so long to get to the point of finding that kind of person that's good for me if that makes sense but yeah if you go if you go to the doctors know what you want to say and I would say take someone with you if, if there's someone else that you've told that, that you can trust like I take Cormac with me every time I go now but take someone with you so that if you feel like you can't talk they know kind of what you want to say so that they can kind of guide you through it and they can support you because the worst thing to do is go through it on your own the other thing that I'll say is don't think that your mental health problems or your mental health is gonna change overnight you can't just be given medication or be given a therapist or a psychiatrist and you just snap your fingers and that's you better now like you need to personally work at it you need to know what you want to change and what you want to achieve if you're not willing to try to work on these things that people are going to tell you then you're never going to see a change and even now like there's days that come when I'm like oh I really like today I'm, I just can't do it like I just feel awful, I don't want to get out of my bed, and that's fine, like, everyone has bad days. N nobody's mental health is the same, is what I'm trying to say. That's why it took so long for me to get, kind of, my diagnosis and things like that, because it's so hard to... It's not like when you walk into the hospital and you've got a broken leg, they're like, alright, oh, they've got a broken leg, this is what we need to do. Because you're not the same person as anyone else. So, things that other people do to help them will not necessarily help you. You need to find what works for you, so that you can get through it. I'm gonna wrap this up here or I'm gonna be speaking all night. So, thank you if you're watching this. Um, hopefully I've answered the right questions for you guys. You guys. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, then I'll do another one. If you've got any questions for the time being, drop me a message on anything. All of my social media will probably be linked. I think Cormac does that. So, just give me a wee message, otherwise I will see you in the next one. And um, thanks for watching.